Sunderland on the way a little later as both old firm clubs lose to Edinburgh opposition. Now Ian Holloway says he'll resign if the Premier League punish Blackpool for fielding a weakened team in their 3-2 defeat to Aston Villa. Well, Holloway made 10 changes from the side which drew two all at Everton and watched Villa take the lead after half an hour. Stuart Downing's fifth goal of the season taking a slight deflection of Stefan Kynan. Well, Blackpool equalised just before half time when uh, Matt Phillips set up Marlon Harewood to score against his former club. But Villa restored their advantage after an hour. And with three minutes remaining, Blackpool substitute DJ Campbell drew them level once again. It's an equal for DJ Campbell. Well, that was Campbell's third goal of the season, his first since September. But uh, there was still time for further drama. James Collins got the winner for Villa with just a minute remaining to give uh, Gerard Houllier's side their first Premier League win since September. You can all think what you like, it doesn't really bother me. Um, I'm trying to run a football club and I'm trying to teach all my players to do a certain way and I thought it proved my decision tonight. I thought we were absolutely terrific. Away from home, if we'd have got the chances, finished the chances when, when we created them in the first 20, 20 minutes, um, could have been a very different score. Um, so we're full of surprises. Uh, I'm very proud of my team. I'm very proud of my players. And um, everything we do at Blackpool is um, for everybody who's, who's there. So I felt physically um, some of the lads who haven't played need to play. I think it proved that at the end I took a risk, and I did. But I know how good they are as well. So I didn't bring a weakened team here. I thought I brought a team that could beat Aston Villa. And unfortunately, um, we should have got a draw at least. Was it a question of prioritising, perhaps looking ahead to West Ham this coming weekend, or did you feel that the team who played on Saturday needed uh, the rest? How dare you say that with the greatest respect? Um, you don't know what we've got to do. You don't know um, what I'm trying to prepare. And um, I think that's easy for people like yourself with the greatest respect who read names and don't know what you're talking about. We've got a manager football club. Um, Mick, Mick did it last year. I picked the team that I thought would win today. Um, and I rested some of the lads who, who played for me last year, who got me promoted, and some of the new lads I've been working with had a chance tonight, and I thought they were absolutely terrific. Well, Holloway alluded to it there. The Premier League did set a precedent last year when Wolves were given a suspended £25,000 fine after manager Mick McCarthy made 10 changes to his side to face Manchester United, a match that Wolves lost 3-0 at Old Trafford. So McCarthy punished Dare and Holloway should be charged by the Premier League for his threats. That's according to McDennis of the Daily Express. And there's some radio interviews where he where he sort of threatened to throw tea or coffee over people. Uh, this is not knockabout fun. This is not good old Holly being entertaining. That That is a, a, a completely irresponsible response to legitimate questioning. Now, either he's doing it because he's angry or he's doing it because Harry Redknapp got away with threatening... Uh, Never to give interviews again if he was if he was charged with uh, disrepute by by letting him off in those letting Harry off in those circumstances that opened the door for this sort of bluster. I'll make a threat and 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 you've got to face me down. Well, I hope they do. I hope that if, if Ian Holloway can defend what he did last night, let him do so. Let him be charged and let him defend it uh, to the Premier League, not by just threatening reporters after the match. Fernando Torres hit his.